In the United States, millions of people suffer from osteoporosis, a disease that affects bone density and leads to a higher incident of broken and fractured bones, among other symptoms. Millions more suffer from periodontist, a form of gum disease that is the leading cause of tooth loss among adults. These two ailments may seem completely unconnected, but new research has revealed a link between osteoporosis and periodontal disease, suggesting that future treatments may involve targeting one in order to prevent the other. Osteoporosis is a metabolic bone disease, which means that it affects bone strength and is usually caused by abnormalities in the intake and absorption of essential minerals into the body. It most commonly occurs in postmenopausal women, although it can affect both men and women of any age. Essentially, a lack of calcium and vitamin D, along with other risk factors such as smoking, drinking, lack of exercise, and the use of certain medication causes lower bone density, which in turn leads to increased fragility. As a result, falls and bumps can lead to severe effects such as broken or fractured bones. Periodontal disease affects the tissue surrounding the teeth and jawbone, known as gingival tissue. By disintegrating its support and thus leading to the destruction of bone tissue and often severe loss of teeth. Initially, it is caused by the growth of plaque on the gums, which causes the growth of bacterial colonies that affects the gum tissue and lead to irritation and inflammation. Periodontal disease becomes periodontist once the bacterial infection extends to the underlying bone and begins to disintegrate it, leading to severe problems for the patient's teeth and jaw. Sex hormones are one of the big connectors between the two ailments. Low estrogen levels in women and low testosterone level in men can cause a drop in bone density, which is why osteoporosis is most commonly seen in postmenopausal women. As a result, bone loss can occur both in the jaw, the area affected by periodontist, and in the rest of the body. Furthermore, low bone density caused by osteoporosis can accelerate the effects of periodontist as it's easier to grade bone tissue in the jaw that's already severely weakened by osteoporosis. In the future, your dentist and your doctor may have to collaborate to come with a treatment option that will encompass both afflicted areas for two ailments that are separate yet interconnected. For now, however, their suggestions are the same. Eat right, exercise, brush your teeth, and check in with your physician and dentist regularly.